Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul coming to you live today, November 9, 2017. And today, for those that are just tuning in, watching for the first time, I will be talking about how to improve the accuracy of your soul guidance. Soul and soul guidance are truly key to our life. Without our soul's guidance, we, we would be making a lot of mistakes. And in fact, a great deal of us make a huge amount of mistakes because we follow our mind instead of our soul's guidance. So today I'll be sharing with all those that are watching uh, some insights as to how to discern the difference between soul's guidance and mind guidance and how to further improve your soul guidance as well as practical wisdom and techniques to, uh, to enhance it um, and then actually how to do it. There's also ways in which you can actually um, translate what your soul has to say. So there's a, quite a few uh, tricks and techniques. Certainly not all can be taught here, but um, a lot of the wisdom that I share is from my teacher, Dr. and Master Shah, for those that are new and watching for the first time. And he is the, uh, without a doubt, the, the guru, the, the preeminent uh, uh, expert in the area of soul, having written over 20 books all on this same subject. <clears throat> and uh, so I encourage you to learn more about Dr. and Master Shah uh, if this uh, live stream has any interest to you at all. And so while Facebook is out grabbing additional souls and bringing them back to this service, um, I want to talk a little bit about the last couple of days. I have been on this huge retreat with my spiritual father in uh, Belgium, and during that time I was very blessed to have received quite a bit more uh, ability to serve via upliftment of, of my healing abilities, healing powers. And this also includes opening the spiritual channels. Um, right now I'm in week nine of a 12-week course for opening the spiritual channels. And uh, it has been going very well. Each of the students is having uh, various levels of success. It does take time, of course. Um, some of us are very blessed in that we, uh, we did not close our channels because most of us as children, they're already open and we can connect to the heavenly worlds and the soul world and whatnot. But um, what does happen over time as children is uh, we tend to get based it into a corner by all those non-believers and they tell us to not pay attention to those things we're seeing or hearing and therefore we tend to close down our spiritual channels some people have not done that so theirs are open the majority of us however have closed our channels so thank goodness for teachers like master shah who have taught step-by-step -step methods by which the spiritual channels can be uh, developed again opened again and today i'm going to touch on some of that as the live stream starts to go out and gather some more people. So yesterday, <clears throat> we focused on Da I, the greatest love, and how to bring more of that into your life step by step. That was actually a, a very valuable teaching, and it was a relatively simple teaching in breaking it down. Uh, part of that is because, let me turn down some of my things that are making noise here. Um, part of that is because of the, the nature of the human experience. We tend to bring uh, our stuff, our past, and our fears of the future into the current moment. And that inhibits us from remaining in the place of love and or creating better conditions so that we can find love. Um, I spoke in that hour about how it is not limited to just relationships. And so if you'd like to learn more about that, I encourage you to um, subscribe, come to my page, and just scroll back through to uh, yesterday's posts. And then also there are previous videos you can watch. And so let's see who's joined us so far today. Facebook is not grabbing very many souls very fast today. Normally they're a lot more efficient. But we have Crystal. Welcome, Crystal. Welcome, Janice. Thank you for joining. And aloha, Kathy Schneider. Welcome also Kristen Rojas, aloha Sharon Dodd, and also aloha to Roshan Dell. Welcome Angie, welcome Pat, welcome Igor, and welcome also uh, Gina Vittoria. And 
Igor, I don't know if that's pronounced Igor with an E or Igor with an I. So I apologize if I said it incorrectly. <clears throat> uh, welcome, M.A. Drade. Welcome also to Deborah Anderson and Vanessa. Aloha, Heather McNee. Welcome also to uh, Michelle, who's just joined us. So while Facebook is gathering some more souls, I will go ahead and share with you a little bit more about uh, some experiences I've been having with the nature of soul. Just recently, I received a special Tao calligraphy, actually related to yesterday's teaching, Da I. And I haven't hadn't until yesterday had a chance to bond uh, with this new calligraphy. It has been infused with extraordinary uh, powers and abilities to serve and um, I have known this and seen this happen with other master shock calligraphies I just never owned my own so I spent about two hours yesterday just connecting to it and um, uh, chanting and offering service and asking for service and it was astounding because I was receiving a lot of messages some of uh, some of the examples we'll be using today but I also uh, I noticed that Literally, depending on the subject matter I was connecting with, and I was talking to the calligraphy, chanting, tracing, I was doing a variety of things. But depending on the subject matter, my crown chakra lit up more or less. More beings came around uh, under certain conditions. And it was curious what those conditions were. The conditions in which more holy beings came around and my crown chakra lit up more was when I was uh, offering... How do I put this? I was offering a very high level of unconditional service to um, to others who are already very high level beings, and that was, you know it was it was a statement, a vow, if you will. Uh, but when I made those vows, it was almost like heaven opened up an extra two hundred feet, and a lot more light came in. And the aha moment that I got from that was that the more we want to serve and be a benefit to others, the more heaven comes to support us, to help us accomplish that desire, that task. Uh, it's very much like refilling your battery cells. Okay, so welcome Kristen Strachan. And so I have a feeling on this, I'm gonna move forward here because we're not getting as many people as we need to. But uh, when I go on Facebook off the computer, it doesn't grab as, as many souls as when I do it on the telephone. It just seems to have its own mind and it goes out and grabs different people or does not notify everybody. I don't quite know how it processes, but that's my theory and I'm sticking to it until I'm convinced otherwise. So let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul, placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, <clears throat> dropping our left hand in front of our heart center. And let us close our eyes, and fully connect. I will invite in the beings of light. There our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine Tao and source. They're all of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, our shurfus. Angels, healing angels, and archangels, masters, and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, and saints, Buddhas and bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Nami Tofu, beloved Konya. We love you, we honor you, respect you, and I personally bow down to you all. I ask most humbly, most sincerely for your presence today. We ask that you please bless each and every one of us watching live and in recording for our individual requests. We ask for today that you assist us with improving the accuracy of our soul's guidance. Please guide me in offering whatever wisdom and teaching is necessary to assist in accomplishing this. I am very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the Source Soul Song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I ask you most humbly and most sincerely, to please turn on and as we chant love, peace, and harmony, we ask you to please join us to offer this unconditional service. And we invite all souls and all universes to chant with us. Let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul. 
lu la lu la li lu la lu la la li la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la 我爱我仙儿哩，我爱突然然嘞，往里容阿不舍上，相爱平安的些，相爱平安的些。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. La lu la li. La lu la la li. La lu la li lu la. La li lu la. Le la li le la. O I was in her ling. O I turned and lay. Wang li rong her musher shang. Shang I ping on her she. 相爱平安和谐。爱了 my heart and soul. I love all humanity. <coughs> Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace. And harmony, love, peace, and harmony. 好好好 ，Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank、uh, everyone for hitting that share button and letting other people know about today's live stream.、Um, Normally we have about thirty-five, forty people right about now. They're sl slowly coming in, but、uh, I'd like to improve the the numbers. So welcome also to Vanessa. Welcome Gary Dowdy. Aloha Nebedita. Aloha to Lily Rob. Aloha also Kathy Arnold. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Aloha Richie. Always great to see you here, Richie. And welcome Kate. Aloha Monica. Love you, love you, love you. Welcome Karen Mahoney. And welcome also to Dakota and Villas Sav Savjana Savjani. Hopefully, I said that right. Welcome also to Jagmeet. And if I missed anyone, you forgive me. And Aloha, Catherine. <clears throat> so, if anybody hasn't had a chance to see、uh, Catherine O'Shea's live Facebook live paintings, she does this amazing heavens animal paintings. Like one time last week, she had made an agreement with with a person, and they honored for this painting.、Uh, I think it's very reasonable. You can check with her on that.、Uh, and she said that morning when she woke up, she was surrounded literally by multitudes of that individual's heaven's animals, and she said they were having a conversation about which animal,、uh, which which one of us should be the one that comes through in this painting, and what message should we offer, Catherine? And so that's how connected she is. So when she paints your heaven's animal, it's not a small thing, and we all have them on our heaven's team. So I, I suggest you connect with her. She can、uh, she can be an individual, and it's an honor fee 
for the, the special painting, but it's a once in a lifetime thing. Very, very cool stuff. So anyway, uh, welcome also to Vanessa Olival and welcome Angie. So thank you all for coming. Today's subject, how to improve the accuracy of soul guidance. Now when I started this morning, I actually was simply going to offer soul guidance. And uh, the message I received was no. You can give people the fish, but you can also teach them how to fish. Better to teach them how to improve their soul guidance. Now some people already have very good soul guidance and they know it. Some people already have very good soul guidance and they deny it. <laughs> and some people, they have soul guidance, but they don't allow it to grow and they don't allow it to reveal itself. They refuse to acknowledge the guidance that they do receive. <clears throat> so uh, there are a variety of levels, but one thing is 100% truth. 100% of us all receive soul guidance. The percentage of the ability to hear it with accuracy, discern it, and translate it with accuracy, that's where the variable is, and that's what we're going to be focusing on today. So what is soul guidance? Soul guidance is messages from the soul world, not only from your soul, but from the soul world. As just discovered, uh, have, we have heaven's animals. They can speak to us and do. There is also our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. There is even messages from others than our soul and our heavens team. We can receive messages from God. We can receive messages from Kuan Yin and Buddha and Jesus. We can receive messages from plants. We can receive messages from animals. <clears throat> so soul guidance is guidance from the soul world. And everyone and everything has a soul. Most of you are veterans to this wisdom and teaching, so that's not new information to you. But in case there's somebody new that's watching this because uh, it's reposted somewhere else, everyone and everything has a soul. That means that everything is, has a spark of the divine creator, and therefore it carries uh, the divine's soul uh, with it, in it. Therefore, everything has a soul. And every soul... <clears throat> has a consciousness, some very small uh, and some quite special. But every soul does have the ability to communicate and we have the ability to receive that communication and work with it. So we know what soul communication is. Why is it important to have soul communication, soul guidance? And, and, and then we're going to go into how we do it and how it can serve us. So why is it important? It's important because we are a soul first. We are not a physical body first. We are a soul first. When the physical body dies, our soul returns back to heaven. And it goes through a series of things which no one is really 100% sure about. <clears throat> but it does hang out in heaven for a while and eventually returns if it is the most appropriate step for our soul on its journey. So the soul has many, 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 beyond many experiences and wisdoms. And those wisdoms are not just from being here on earth. The soul could have went to other domains, other layers of, of heaven. And the soul could have received many wisdoms. There's libraries in heaven. Maybe your soul hung out in heaven's libraries, received all kinds of good stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so our soul um, does have the ability to receive tremendous, tremendous wisdom. This wisdom can only come to us in the physical realm if we attune to it, if we listen to it. And that's what today's guidance is about. How do we do that? We do that by opening the channels of the communication through which the soul world communicates to us and through us. Now we are familiar with the five senses, taste, touch, smell, um, sight, and what's the other one? Taste, touch, touch, smell, sight, and hearing. Uh, and so yes, there is clear audience. We can hear the soul world. We can see, but it is not with the physical eye, it is with the third eye. 
We can also feel them. I absolutely feel uh, heaven when they are around me. I feel when my crown chakra lit up just a moment ago it did. Uh, when I do flow and guidance, uh, my nose always itches. I was being worked on once by a master at one of Master Shaw's events. I was lying on the floor and they were doing some energy work on me. <clears throat> and they said, what do you think about all of those uh, beings that keep running their hands over your face like this? And I say, you know, I have never seen them, but I feel them all the time. It actually drives me a little crazy because it makes my nose very, very itchy. And she says, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. They just constantly run their hands over your face like this, like they're clearing something. I said, no, it's probably my busy mind. So we can feel them also with our senses. But the abilities go way beyond our five senses. Opening up our soul and our spiritual communication channels, opening up to read and hear and know and connect to the soul world is a um, learned and practiced process. And everyone has it innately. In other words, because we are 100% soul and we think we're 100% physical, we're really 100% soul and really only this represents 1%. That's kind of a strange statement, but actually science validates that. Science validates that of all the space, only 1% of the matter takes up the space. The rest of it is just space. So in that space is soul. In that space is heaven, everything from which we were created from. The 1%, what we are now, <laughs> we're so stuck in it, we think it's the all and the everything. But it's not. And so we need to be on this physical plane in the process of conversion of our physical body into a light being and in that conversion process we can hear very clearly see very clearly uh, receive messages very clearly now in the human body there are um, the seven chakras and there's a channel that runs through the center of the body and the most important of those is the heart center the heart chakra the heart chakra or message center as it's referred to in master Shah's wisdom and teachings is extremely important to the ability to receive soul guidance. Uh, we have some new people join in, so let me connect with them. Welcome, Susan. Welcome, Dvorka. And welcome to your daughter. Welcome also to Igor with an E. Thank you, Igor. Um, welcome also to um, Ma Regina David and Deborah Miller. Welcome, Christina Thorson. Welcome, Linda Martinez. And Lorraine Day, welcome. Aloha, Michael Wilmeth. And welcome also to Maria uh, Crispy Rogue Irog. Thank you for joining. And thank you also for sharing. Uh, when we uh, connect to heaven and to Mother Earth, to all of the souls, that comes in through our message center, heart chakra. Almost everybody's heard the word heart chakra very few people actually know the purpose and significance of the heart chakra how to open it how to keep it open how to avoid uh, uh, harming it how to utilize it in the highest best and most correct manner to serve us on our soul journey the reason master Shah refers to it as a message center is because it receives messages what's the what's today's title how to improve the accuracy of your soul guidance how to improve the accuracy of soul messages so your heart center is actually directly related to the accuracy of what you are receiving there are some of you that have third eye third eye abilities and imageries but the ability to receive third eye uh, accurately is actually very dependent upon an open heart center because a lot of people see images but they translate it with their noggin and they make a mistake. They actually can generate karma if they share inappropriate or wrong information to somebody else about what they see. Uh, especially if they're seeing for somebody else and then they analyze it with their brain. So uh, open message center, extremely important for uh, accuracy. How do we improve our accuracy with the message center? We do practices like what we're gonna do right now, okay? So everybody sit up straight. <clears throat> Sasa.
Close your eyes. Bring your thoughts, your mind, and your breath into your lower abdomen. We start by connecting to Mother and Earth. Feel heaven. Connect heaven through your crown chakra into your message center. Breathe in, Mother Earth. Thank you. Breathe in, Mother Earth, through the bubbling springs point in the bottom of your feet. Breathe it up through your legs into your heart center. Connect now to Mother Earth and Heaven, both into your heart center. This area is extraordinarily important. I will walk you through a connection I will walk you through a quick forgiveness practice. Both are very important to open the area more. Then I will give you a hand mudra position that will assist you with opening the center more. And then we will chant a mantra that will assist with opening this heart area more. So with your eyes closed, <clears throat> as comfortable, repeat after me. Dear the soul, of my heart center my message center i love you i honor you i appreciate you please forgive me for any time i have caused you to close yourself because of fear doubt lack of trust because of being hurt in relationships because Others may have said or done unpleasant things towards me. Please forgive me for closing you when I maybe should not have. Please forgive me for not honoring you, developing you, and assisting you to remain open. You have the power, my beloved heart chakra, message center. To more fully develop yourself, to more fully open, do a great job. Thank you. This is soul communication. Now we connect with the outer souls. Continue to repeat. Dear my beloved divine creator, God, dear the Tao, the source, dear the soul of the sun, the moon, Mother Earth, dear beloved Jesus, Mother Mary, all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, all the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, and saints, all heaven's animals, my individual heaven's team of guides, angels, and saints, I love you, honor you, respect you. I ask from my heart, most sincerely, could you please come, sit in my heart center, bless me to more fully open and develop my message center bless me to increase the accuracy of my soul's guidance thank you dear my soul i love you can you please bless me to increase my communication and guidance from you thank you and now we'll do a quick forgiveness practice, so continue to repeat if it is comfortable. Dear all souls, in this and all lifetimes, if I or my ancestors have offered very unpleasant thoughts, words, actions, that have caused you to have a broken heart, to have a pain-filled heart if we have made vows to you that has closed your heart if we have made vows of love and then broken those vows if I or my ancestors have spoken to you in such a way that was disrespectful dishonoring unpleasant a lack of love and respect from my heart I sincerely apologize. I ask your forgiveness as I desire to open my heart more 
so that I may be a better servant, so that I may receive better soul guidance to be a better assistant to humanity. I am very grateful for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. I offer myself unconditional forgiveness for any time I have closed my heart. I forgive myself. And now we will place our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. Like a prayer, we drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand gently remains pointed towards heaven. We will chant a mantra called Da I, which means greatest love. It carries extraordinary power and we will also ask the soul of Da I and the Da I calligraphies to serve us. So one more time, repeat after me. Dear the soul of Da I, the greatest love, all of the Da I calligraphies brought to Mother Earth, all the countless blessings transmitted to those calligraphies. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Can you please radiate your blessings to my heart center? Help me to develop my soul guidance and clear blockages. I am extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So with your eyes closed, visualizing, this is the mind power, visualizing in your heart center, tremendous light, tremendous love. All of the beings of light have come into your heart center. See them gathering together and clearing blockages, spreading their love. Let us chant together. Die, die, die. Improves my soul guidance. Greatest love, unconditional love, opens my message center. Improves my soul guidance. Die, 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 See all the beings of light. They are currently blessing you with extraordinary light in your heart center it is just getting blasted die 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 Greatest love, unconditional love, 
melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Die, 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 melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Silently chant. Da I, visualizing Jesus blessing you, blasting open your heart center. God blessing you, blasting open your heart center. Buddha blessing you, blasting open your heart center. All the angels singing, blasting open your heart center. All the heavens animals flying around, dancing around, blasting open your heart center. Visualize your heart center as being hugely blessed. Any blockages are just melting away. And now, ask your soul, dear my beloved soul, I love you, honor you, Deeply, deeply appreciate you. Please forgive me for not communicating with you more often. Can you please give me a message of the one thing that is most important for me to focus on the remainder of this day? Can you please give me, my soul, a message of the most important thing that you wish me to focus on for the remainder of this day. And now be silent and listen for the message from your soul. I will chant very gently. And when you're done, you may share it. And now tap your message center. Place both palms together in prayer position and gently tap your message center. Da I 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 Greatest love Da I da I Greatest love and now ask your soul, 
for a message for you that is most important for you to hear at this time. Say, dear my soul, what is the most important thing you wish to share with me at this time? Listen. It may be one word. It may be a sentence. Maybe you just receive a color. Just listen. And when you are ready, you may share the message. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us offer our gratitude to our beloved divine creator, to all of the beings of light who have come to serve us. They have many things to do. Heaven is quite busy. But many, many souls came because they heard your earnest request for their service. And they know that everything is one. What they were doing in heaven was towards oneness. But they all took a break and they came here to serve us for our request. So we always offer them our gratitude. Never take for granted the wisdom and blessings that heaven has available to us. So I look forward to reading your comments. Kristen Strachan says she received the word trust. Beautiful. That can carry a depth of meaning. Deborah Anderson uh, I must forgive in order to move forward. Mm, very powerful. Very true, I'm sure, for more than one person in this live stream. So I encourage you to go deeper with that. You can ask your soul. I would love to receive some guidance. How to go deeper in my forgiveness? How can I forgive? If you get an answer that is not uh, deep enough for you to work with, ask again. Can you please expand? You might be quite surprised. Your soul can very often give you very specific information if you ask and listen. <clears throat> Monica shares the message she received as we are all one light. I see the light in you. You see the light in me. We love you. Beautiful. Kathy Arnold shares the message she received was give da I and receive da I from your precious new kitten that brings you such love and joy into your life. Enjoy this beautiful gift. Wonderful. And Len de Leon received the message self-love again. Sometimes these this one simple word, we can go so much deeper. Ask your soul. You don't need to pay attention to me. Use this time now. You're in a, in a beautiful space. Dear my soul, can you please expand on this wisdom of kindness, of self-love? What can I do differently? How can I be more loving to myself? Can you give me an example or a third eye image of kindness? This is an opportunity because our soul <laughs> has a lot more to say to us. This is a stepping stone into that awakening. Vanessa heard the word synchronicity. Janet heard the word rest. Very powerful. All of these are very powerful. Gary heard the word forgiveness, very important. And Kate said she saw an eye and later heard, open your eyes. Wow. Beautiful. A great opportunity, Kate, to ask. 
can you please give me a little more guidance? What do you mean by open my eyes? Janice received a uh, create, write, release your fear of success. She saw her soul being hugged by Jesus. Beautiful, wonderful messages. And truly feeling forgiveness is Gary. Amy says, fun, dance equals freedom. Get outdoors, and it showed me my favorite special place. Wow, wonderful guidance, Amy. Your soul knows exactly what we need. Your soul knows how to move you from whatever area of blockage you may be finding yourself in. Sometimes it's get outdoors. Sometimes it's be kind to others because it gets us out of our mind. Sometimes it's being kind to ourself. Um, Olivia, uh, Olive Rose received the word love. And Crystal Take time for self-care. Absolutely. I think we all can take, uh, can, can receive that message on an individual basis. If we don't put the oxygen mask on ourselves first, we're going to run out of oxygen. And we're not going to be able to do anything to help others. Um, welcome, Rianne. Aloha. And welcome also to D. Kumar. And Catherine received Embrace This Change With Love. Receive the nourishment from this change. Great. And yesterday's live stream was on the subject of change, or uh, Tuesday's live stream was on the subject of change, embracing change. Actually, it was Monday. So, yeah, three, four days ago. And Carol received be in peace. Do not match others' energies. Hold the space for peace. I encourage all of you. These are amazing soul readings. Very accurate. I haven't received, because I'm checking accuracy. All of these are accurate. Um, there's not one that has not been accurate and I encourage all of you to give merit to the accuracy it's not just you know oh we tuned into Master Paul oh isn't this nice receive a message okay go about your day and fall back into an old pattern that's not what we're here for to fall back into old patterns okay take this message expand it into today and tomorrow and next week and go deeper after I, I turn off this live stream in a few minutes and communicate deeper with your soul. Your soul is the only reason you're here on earth. It's the only reason for being alive. You are on a soul journey, not a physical journey. Your physical experience is for your soul. So the more you attune to your soul, listen and do what it suggests. The less pain, the less suffering, the less relationship blockage, the less financial blockage, everything will become less, 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 less because you took the time to listen to the soul world's guidance. It is the next step in evolution, literally. That is why it is called the soul light era. And so this is a very relevant and important step on that path. It has been my honor to do this for you, to guide you. Uh, I am available for individual soul readings and guidance. If you would like some individual guidance because you just can't seem to get there on your own, I think they're very reasonable on the honor fees. They're by the half hour of the hour, 75 or 150. And it includes a recording so you can listen to it again. So if you're interested in that, let me know. If not, no worries. Thank you, Divine Tao Source, all the beings of light. Thank you to all the souls who have come to offer their service today. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will see you next week, everybody. Bye-bye.